is my outfit for today. I need to do laundry, so I had to come up with a new outfit. <laughs> Mom and I are, oh, I just took my methylfolate and it's got beet powder in it, so now it looks like I'm like a vampire. Because my mouth is all red. Anyway, Mom and I are on my way to psych my psychiatrist to pick up some paperwork and to Value Village because they're having a 20% off. I could hardly recognize you. That's a good disguise. Thanks. <laughs> Yeah, because it's just kind of dirty, but it would come clean. I think. How much is it? There it is. Five bucks. The thing about always thrifting is I don't know the brand names, but... Steve Mann is a popular brand. 20 bucks? Yeah, it's nice. It's really nice, though. And it would be 20% off with our coupon. Yeah. Yeah, this is pricey, but it's really nice. It and it's good quality. If you saw my last vlog, you saw me struggling with Pepper just tracking litter everywhere. Right? You only have three legs. So you end up sitting in the litter box. And then it gets stuck to you and it goes all over. Like it got on the blanket where she was laying. I cleaned some off. Um, but we've got the robot vacuum running. We're gonna have to run the regular vacuum too, I think. So we're switching to wood pellets today, I've decided. And we're gonna see if that helps. I just found someone on YouTube that does yoga for chronic pain and I did one of her routines and I feel so much better so I'm like super excited about it I'll link her in the description Pepper always gets upset because she's like you're on my level but you aren't petting me like what's going on <laughs> so she'll get a brush do you want to be brushed do you want to be brushed? She gets so excited. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Don't stop, she says. Did you like the brush? As you can tell from my hair, I am having a bad mental health day. So the yoga helped a little bit. And now I feel good enough that I'm going to hop in the shower because I always feel better after I shower. But it's always such a thing to get in the shower because like there's so many things to do and then you get out and you're cold. I know I'll feel better after I have a shower. Okay, first of all, look at my earrings today. Coffee and a donut. I put a few holds on some stuff at the library that I'm going to go pick up. It's very like snowy and wintry out which is why you can hear the car heat running on full blast and then I have a bunch of emails and like I just like want to get my shit together in terms of time management today. Some of these books that I put on hold are actually from a keynote speaker for an event I'm in a paid partnership with to promote so I want to make sure that I'm reading them so that way uh, you know when I'm interacting with him I, I've read his books. <laughs> doing the eye masks that I talked about in my last vlog. They work so well, I love them. I'll link them down below. So in addition to everything that's been going on in my life, like dealing with income support, dealing with age, dealing with the disability tax credit, dealing with our registered disability savings plan, like so much paperwork for those four things. And then also like dealing with my dietary changes because of my medication, them raising my rent. I found out yesterday, which was part of why I was struggling so much yesterday. I did yoga four times to try and manage my anxiety and it freaking worked. It did work, but yesterday was rough. I'm getting ready to go to bed and I had just briefly thrown it out on Twitter and said, Hey, I'm job hunting. 
and I get this connection that just knows me through Twitter. And she freaking hires me for a job. And it's a job I'm gonna be really good at. It's, it's working the telephones, it's calling people, and it's temporary because it's related to the election that's coming up. So it's not something I'm gonna be doing forever, but I mean, I can do it. I was in such shock that I got that kind of good news because I've been really struggling to find a part-time job. I woke up today and I was like, I have a job. And that's like one of those kind of cornerstone pieces to my life, I think. And so once that fell into place, it was like, holy shit, what if things do work out? What if everyone that has been talking to me, like my doctor and my mom and my support system that have been saying like, don't be afraid of your future, it's gonna be okay. What if they're right? Because my brain could not wrap my head around them being right. It's, I'm gonna suffer because I've, I've been dealing with financial insecurity for so long and, and mental illness for so long and, and that's just gonna be my future because that's been my past. But it doesn't have to be that way. And wow, what a powerful feeling. As you can see, the weather change is doing a number on my hands. We had a pretty big snowstorm blow in. Before I could get organized time management wise, I had to organize my desk a little bit. And I washed an organizer I thrifted from Value Village to help me organize my stationery. Then I just sat down and planned things out. So I love this planner for a variety of different reasons, but one of the biggest ones is that it doesn't have specific dates written in. So if you're like me and you sporadically use a planner um, when you need one, but you don't need one all the time, you can write in your own dates and you don't have to throw away like a, an empty book at the end of the year. I haven't done like a lot of like the monthly reviews and stuff like that. Like my mental health was just like so bad last year that I like wasn't using this book very much. It's interesting though. Because you can see, <laughs> rest you relentless dummy. Um, this is the week before I went into the hospital. But it's interesting because this planner has, part of the reason I bought it is because it's got a life balance to-do list. So you write in things that balance out your life so that way it's not just all work. I didn't do the life balance to-do list or use the planner very heavily for the last four weeks before I went to hospital. I can kind of see like the downward spiral almost written in this book, which is like really interesting to me, but I'm gonna be using it today. I'll also link where to buy it on Amazon. It's pricey, but like it's the best planner I've ever used because it does have like personal to-do lists, work to-do lists, this week's priorities, main goals. It kind of like sorts out everything good about time management that you always hear from people and puts it on one page so that way you don't have to worry about it and it's not just a planner it like helps you balance your life too good morning youtube today was supposed to be this big day where me and my friend were gonna batch cook a bunch of meals but she's not feeling good and then there's been a huge weather change. And so my arthritis was like acting up and it was like keeping me awake all night. Like I couldn't sleep through the pain kind of thing. It's just gonna be a low key day. I'm hoping to read at least one of the books for the keynote speaker that's speaking at this breakfast event that um, I'm helping to promote. So that's gonna be on the agenda for today. I really like the TV background I chose for today. So the first thing I did was light some incense and light my candles. I am always burning incense and candles. And then I did so much yoga today. I was in a lot of pain and I find that yoga really, really helps. I was having a bad mental health day, partially because I didn't sleep very well and I was in a lot of pain. Partially because I'm anxious about my housing situation. I just don't know where I'm gonna end up living in a few months. 
And so I ended up binging on donuts. And so I made myself a salad to try and uh, lighten things up a little bit because my body was just feeling gross. But I decided to tell you all that I binged because I want to normalize the struggle with food. And here's my little fancy salad dance. <laughs> it's way more fun to shake a salad if you dance it out, trust me. And then I just finished the rest of the day with reading and writing and being creative. As always, here is the bonus content of my cat Pepper at the end of the video. She found a new toy, quote unquote. <laughs> and I just think it's so cute how she uses her paws as little hands.